What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope all you guys are having a great day. We've got new mods today. We're going to jump in here. I'm going to show you how to find them easily. So you want to do two things. First off, you want to bump all the way over until you see latest. This is going to give you the rundown of the way we saw them in FS17. And then you're going to click show all mods. Now we are on the PC today. There's one of these mods that is not on console we're going to show it to you anyway we're going to make it last first off we have the bag and lifter pack which was part of the mods that we were supposed to begin today so this is pretty cool bag and lifter pack awesome we're going to install that right now we also have the flegal trailer pack really really cool we've got two trailers here flegals they look awesome we also have pond water source upon water surface to place over a hole that can be used to fill your water tanker dude yes this is exactly what i'm talking about right here install and for pc only from white bull modding uh looks like we have some 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 based in slovakia uh, has been manufactured architectural machinery for over 40 years company remains a family-owned business yada 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 great so it doesn't even tell us what it is i'm guessing it's a weeder but it doesn't actually say that thanks thanks uh thanks white bull money puller puller two meter gotcha still nonetheless let's jump in let's check these out all right we are in the game now we're gonna check these out i've already been playing with them a little bit so here is the bag and lifter so what does bag and lifter mean well we've got bags <laughs> we do we've got bags we have new uh new fertilizer oh yeah we have really 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 cool stuff we got a thing right here that makes it easy to grab a hold of them this is a little heavy but it's kind of dangerous this is pc only this is the uh gorink puller two meter it's just it's so small it's a weeder it's so small why I'm done. I'm done. There's just some mods that are like, why would you put that in there? It's the smallest thing in the game by a bajillion meters. Let's look at these. This can be a little difficult to mess around with. Where are we going to be able to find it in the store? Are you going to go to tools and miscellaneous? You're going to need both of these parts right here. You're going to need the Lizard 13XL and the Lizard Tool X 1500. Both of these together make it work. You can either go with a blue and yellow or the original Lizard which is gonna be lime green and black. And then with the lizard tool, it is just normal. Now, these are tricky. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just go ahead and buy a couple extras. There's that, let's buy one of these, and let's buy a tractor. Now, I have noticed that the Maxim series, little on the smaller side for what, uh, what we'd be using. So, let's try the six Ilm series. It's just as good, just as big. Maybe it'll actually a little bit bigger, to be honest with you. Configuration, let's go, uh, let's, let's be on the safe side. Let's put weight in the front and let's go with some wide tires and big engine because we can buy that. Now, let's jump in it. Here's how you're going to be able to get this. You can either pull forward to it if you have a front three point or back up to it if you have a rear three point. I think every tractor in the game has a rear three points, so you can do this there. Whichever way you do it, you're going to need a whole lot of weight on the other side. So what you want to do is you want to connect it. Now it does have three point linkages on there. So you can have this on and still hook up to any other three point linkage, which is super cool. Next what you're going to do is back up to this. Now, Here's what's going to happen if you don't lower anything. You're going to back up and you see, oh, attached lizard tool. Sweet. And you attach it and you quickly realize, oh, that's hanging from, oh. <laughs> yeah, you don't want it to be hanging from right there. What you want, pull forward a little bit and lower this. And then lower that down, just like you would a crane. And then it's going to pick it up and you can raise there you go now of course you can pick up these pallets we're going to test a few others to see if this will test some or uh, not test we'll see if it'll pick up some other stuff as well but it works just like uh, uh what was it the trebuchet <laughs> whatever 
whatever it was in farming simulator 17 all oh, these crazy crazy people you're gonna go up to it and you're gonna just attach the straps you pick up the straps raise it up and you don't have to raise it up all the way and then now you're good to drive around now you can see how much weight is on the back of this thing it is a little squirrely <laughs> squirrely dan but it's not going anywhere you might think it is don't worry it's not going anywhere and then when you're ready just plop it out wherever you want i want to know if this works with the other pallets we have in game let's try a fertilizer pallet let's try a sugarcane pallet and for fun let's grab a bale or two fact finding dj yeah let's go <laughs> uh-oh hitting stuff already dang it I did notice that this seems to pick up more things than it should if they're close. Uh, so there's a good chance this might pick up both of these. Okay, just picked up one, but it did pick it up. Sweet. Nice. And we're going to drop it. Back it out of the way. Lower it back down. Can we pick? I imagine we can. If they're all, they all read as pallets. This is a really cool mod. I don't well off the top of my head don't know exactly how i'm going to incorporate it but still pretty neat there you go and you can see it's kind of doing that thing where it's magically picking up both of these and it's filling the weight and we're going and we're going oh yeah i'm touching nothing right now keep in mind this may happen to you do not freak out we're gonna drop it before something bad happens don't freak out it just does that i'm sure that's going to be a fix that's coming later on don't freak it just is what it is will it pick up bales i imagine so that's a big old 10-4 there good buddy with the round bells i imagine the square bell just exactly the same now i'm using the 6m for a reason uh my understanding is this is one of the most popular tractors in oh in 19 right now yeah Turns out that didn't work, did it? <laughs> Maybe I should line up with it correctly. Uh, and I feel like a lot of people are going to be using this tractor. And so we want to we want to do what people are doing. And we are going to have to lower this the rest of the way to do it the right way. And it looks like, yep, that picked it up just fine. No problems whatsoever. It's a really cool mod. But we also have big bags that came with this mod. And we've got forks that came with this. So what we can do is we've got one. Now, can we get a second big bag on here? Knowing my luck, not likely. But the good thing is these, they have kind of some, some give to them, some leeway. Drop down, drag the other one on the ground, and pick it right up. It's, it's actually really easy. Uh, I was surprised whenever I first started playing with this. I was like... There's no way it's got to be that easy. Like there's a, there's a catch, right? But like, you just get it lined up, point it on it. Now I haven't tried to pick up more than. There you go. <laughs> and another cool thing is these kind of like a stretchy top to them, when you pick them up and drop them. I think that's cool. I think that's awesome. But there you go. There's your bags. Yeah. Now you're gonna be able to find these where you normally would. Big bags. You're gonna go all the way to the right. Here you go. These hold 2,000 liters of seeds, fertilizer, and 4,000 liters of lime. Uh, let's see, 2,000, 1,800. They are the same price, it looks like. Yeah. Uh, we are looking at, ex well, not exactly. The lime bag. <laughs> lime bag, I keep wanting to say something else. Uh, you guys didn't hear that? No. <laughs> They're, in some cases, a little cheaper and yeah nice and then we can come in here into pallets and we have the herbicide tank which holds 3,000 and the fertilizer tank which also holds 3,000 liters that's cool oh and the forks for this you can find in the telehandler section just go into telehandlers all the way to the right there you go it's only available for telehandler that i've seen so far i haven't seen it available for anything else definitely not front loaders uh or wheel loaders so there's that. Now, we also have some trailers. The yard is clear. Now, let's go in and check these trailers out. 
Flick of trailers all the way to the right. Well, almost all the way to the right. We've got two versions. We have the TDK 1600 or 160 and the DK 160. Now these are a little different in their own right mind. We're going to take a look at that right now. Main color, we could choose different ones. Capacities, we've got 5,700 liters, 11,300 liters, and 18,600 liters. Then we have two different bell configurations. We have one with just the front and one with the front and the back. Really cool. Wheel setups, trailer board, Michelin, and Lizard. And we can't change anything about it. So what we're going to do is we are going to go with one in the 18,000 configuration. And we're going to go with Trailer Borg. I'm going to pick one there. And then we're going to pick another one, bright green, in the bell configuration. And uh, we'll go with Lizard. How about that? Now, the other one's a little different. Colors are the same. Capacities and setups the same. However, the back is different. The wheels are different. You've got Lizard, but we've got two different Lizard options, Standard and Standard, which costs more. <laughs> we've got... Yeah, yeah, just Trailer Borg and Lizard. It's weird, isn't it? I don't know, something weird about that. So we're going to try and match everything we've done here. So they were the widest tires possible. We're going to go with that. And we're going to change this up. Lime Green... Another bell configuration, Lizard with Normal. Check these out. There's just something about the wheels that I find interesting. Okay. How is this? So the wheels, uh, they don't look that different. As a matter of fact... No, no, they're still, still a little different. Still a little different, but that's okay. Well, we've got hookups back here and I would love to find out if we can hook these up to each other so we're gonna go with some big old wheels here and a big engine oh yeah now is the fun part for trying to get these to connect to each other one thing to note these have the eye hook eyeball hook all of them do but I wonder can we still hook up hey, here we are throwing stuff again aren't we <laughs> I wonder if we can still hook up, let's say, this one to the one directly to the right. If we can, this is going to be a game changer because there's only, I think, one trailer in the game we can do this with that only has one axle. Yes, these have two axles. Hey, that's what I'm talking about right there. And I know they'll hook up to each other, so we know that. So. If you want to get a nice little train together, 18,500, 18,600 liters each, that's cool. I really like that. I really, really do like that. One more mod today to talk about, and that is the placeable pond. Now, this thing is real weird. I need you to hang tight with me on it because I've got to explain it. So let's say you've got a field, and we do. We have field 13. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into miscellaneous... Go to the right and find Water Station. Now, as you can see, I've tried quite a few things over here. What we're going to do is we're just going to place this down. We're just going to bloop, place it down. You see, some of it's hanging over, some's not. We've got water. We have an oasis, baby. Yeah. Well, not quite. Because, as you could tell, we're under it. No water. We come above it. Water. There's that line right there. And then it just continues up. Now, we know this is the center, but otherwise, we're not 100% sure what's going on here. We've got to do some work. It gives you everything you need, but you got to do some work. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to drop the area around it so we can see it. Now, of course, you don't have to do this, but I recommend placing it down first and then doing the work. I think you're going to have a better time. So let's go in. And there are no place anywhere mods, anything like this. You can do this at any point. Okay, so now we are here. We're underwater. Birds are underwater. Everybody's having a great time. Get out of my water, birds. <laughs> so we've got this area here. It's weird. You're looking at it going like, 
yeah the what's up with this mod go back in your landscaping and just go to the edge right here and we're gonna raise this up until it goes above the water about right there now I'm just gonna create a circle around this and you can create any shape you would like if you want to have a square pond go for it if you want to have a rectangle pond go for it pond pond so now we've got that and now I'm just gonna go around holding the Y or triangle button smooth the edges out BAM now we have a pond what do you think about that nice and yes we can go under it yes there's nothing under it but I think I think that's cool I mean you can create these water areas now and you create them as high or as low as you want you can cover the whole map in water if, you, if you'd like I mean I'm I assume you could with this mod but now it's just like the water comes up to the edge and stops but it's it's it we obviously you know it comes out to about here and doesn't go any further and you can make that as deep as you would like if i went in and i terraformed down in here we can draw you can see it is visibly going down and so now we jump in here now everything below it now we've created this huge deep deep pond that if you drive into Oh, yo, can we drive into that? We're gonna try it. Guys, it was nice knowing you. Very, very nice knowing you. Into the water we go. Hey! So, we can't die because of the water. But, you come over here with anything water, and you've got yourself a water source. So, you can use this to fill up anything, you know, containers and whatnot. But... You can't die, and that's what we were looking for right here. So we can, you could have an underwater, underwater city like you would in Minecraft. Go for it. I think that's cool. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. And already, please subscribe. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comment section below. That being said, hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace.